Thank you. Uh, I've come up tonight and you're probably thinking Daniel looks pretty up and about at the moment. I'm not. I'm a bit upset at the moment, guys. I've got to get something off my chest. I'm a bit upset with the local service station attendants down at my local server. Right? Don't know if you're getting this as well, but I can't go get fuel anymore without them offering me some sort of deal. You getting that as well when you go get your fuel? Would you like some two-for-one chockey bars, mate? Do you want some energy drinks? Would you like some sex in the toilet? All these weird offers. <laughs> it's disgusting. Of course I don't want any energy drinks. They are gross. Um... <laughs> Deborah and Graham, they're the worst at my local servo. They're absolute pests. I was in there the other day. Graham offered me this two for one deal. He goes, Do you want to try the new deal, Daniel? I said, What is it, mate? He goes, It's a two for one deal on three litres of milk. <laughs> I said, What's that, mate? He goes, You want six litres of milk for the price of three? I said, What the fuck do I want with six litres of milk, Graham? Who's drinking that much milk? Goes off in three days. You think I'm drinking two litres of milk a day for the next three days? You're a fucking idiot, Graham. <laughs> Pull your head in, mate. Do you think I'm bathing in milk, Graham? Is that what you think? You think I'm having milk baths? You think I'm hand raising three tiger cubs, mate? Why the fuck <laughs> would I need six litres of milk? I have my two cents worth at him. You would as well. He got all upset. He's like, oh, look, Daniel, just calm down. Put the knife down, mate. <laughs> So just so you know, the reason we offer two-for-one deals is because our boss makes us do it. If we don't do it, we don't get shifts at the server. So there you go. That's why you get offered two-for-one deals. Obviously, I felt horrible for having a go at him. So if anybody needs any milk... Uh, <laughs> got 36 litres out the back. <laughs> Shitload of chockey bars. And a sore ass. Uh, <laughs> mm. Deborah got pretty wild. <laughs> um, Tell you about this too. Witness this during lockdown. Never seen this before. I witnessed someone shoplift down at my local supermarket. Never seen that before. I uh, saw a kid. I estimate he was about 14 years old, this kid. And he stole a meat tray. It's pretty brazen, isn't it? Just a full barbecue pack, a few chops, sausage, down the front of the pants. I saw him do it. I was like, that's hilarious. I'll have a bit of fun here. And I just said, mate, you don't need to put your shopping down your pants. There's red baskets out the front. Just a bit of mucking around, right? He swings around really aggressive. goes, fuck off. Like that. Would have been 14 years old, this kid. Nothing of him, like 50 kid, well, 52 with the meat tray, right? But nothing of him. <laughs> it's time to tell me to fuck off. Before he told me to fuck off, I couldn't care less about the meat stealing antics. I was just down there to get a box of cornettos on a Tuesday night. Right? <laughs> Once he told me to fuck off, I wanted, I wanted him dead, basically. I wanted this kid dead. <laughs> I wanted him dead in the. Uh, clean up in aisle three, this little prick's body, right? I, was, I just wanted him dead, basically. So I said, mate, I'm going, I'm going to get security. I'm going to go get him. He's like, don't get security. If you do, I'll knock you out. I was like, you're not even knocking a hole in the plastic on the meat tray, mate. You're not knocking it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go get him. I hate you, all right? So I turn to get security. I turn, and they're on me already. The big security guard's on us. He's just seen him on the video, obviously. And he just gets right up in his face. He goes, Jared knows his name, first name basis. <laughs> they're mates. Oh, Jared, put the meat tray back. He goes, what meat tray? He clearly has a protruding... <laughs> it looks like a boogie board down his pants. What meat tray? He's like, the one in your pants, just put it back and we won't call the cops. As soon as the cops are mentioned, down go the shoulders on Jared. Pulls the meat tray out, all the meat's kind of scooched up one end. He levels it out like a gentleman and pops it back in the fridge. <laughs> then just skulks out of the stall. Took two things away from that experience, guys. I'm worried about our youth. I haven't had much to do with 14-year-old kids of late, but are they all like that? They're all little meat steal and overconfident dickheads. It's frustrating for our future. <laughs> Second thing I took away from that experience was a half-price meat tray. Just <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your night. Take it easy. See you later. Give it up for Daniel Connell. <laughs>